All right, Shalom. Ka halal ya ba shimi ya washa, brak ti ya hawa, brak ti ya washa, brak ti ya hawa, brak ti ya washa, brak ti ya hawa, brak ti ya washa. With the Hebrew Israelites, we come out, we come out week in, week out to preach the downfall of this country called Wicked Babylon, aka the whore of Babylon, Sodom and Gomorrah, this country called America. All right, we come out week in, week out. And we the prophets of the Lord, and we come out to tell about this kingdom, all right? And salvation, according to the Bible, is only for these people on the sign, all right, according to Scripture. I'll give you the, the people right now that I promise salvation. This is Judah, the so-called Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indians, Levi, the Haitians, Simeon, the Mi Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala to Panama, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the Cubans, Gad, the North American Indians, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Neftali, Argentina to Chile, Asher, Colombia to Uruguay, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, all right? These are the people, all right, that had to come here and endure uh, captivity and bondage by the hands of the so-called white man, all right, which is which is uh, Esau, um, known as the devil or the deceiver, all right? That's why uh, the Indians called, uh, called the, the, the white man, uh, he who speak with a forked tongue, all right? Which means, uh, uh, that's a deceiver, all right? A devil, all right? Someone who lies to you, okay? And that's what happened in this, in this land, all right? We've been lied to, all right? We've been, we've been robbed, first of all, of our heritage, and um, of everything that we know, we're a byword, as the scripture says. All right, we uh, we were taken and we were forced into horrendous conditions. All right, horrible situations, taken away from our families, our mothers, our, our fathers, our daughters, and put into hard labor. Okay, so the Native Americans they also had their land taken away from them. All right. They were forced to, to live in reservations, concrete, terrible parts of the country that nobody wants to live in. Some some of dirt, all right, but a lot of them just built by concrete, meager living, terrible water, plumbing, you know, uh, substandard health care, all right. And it's in here. You have some land, you have some, you know, uh, um, uh, amenities based on this land, but the truth is of the matter, you know, it's not enough, all right? How are you gonna give, take somebody a hundred dollars, just to, you know, use an example, and then say, you know what, maybe that was wrong, here you go, here's, here's five dollars of that back. You wanted your whole hundred dollars back, you wanna be recompensated for everything that was taken from you, all right? So-called the, the Mexicans, all right, uh, so-called Mexicans or Hispanic people, all right? First of all, uh, uh, that was taken from them too. There's uh, figures over 70 million Hispanics and uh, Mexicans were uh, displaced and, and kicked out of their country, all right? Here we have a president who says, hey, Mexico sends the worst to this worst. Let's build a wall and keep them out of here. But the truth of the matter, Texas, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, California, that was all Mexico, all right? So how are you gonna build a wall and keep the people out that occupied this place initially, all right? That doesn't make any sense, all right? The people that came here, they're the immigrants, all right? And they're gonna pay according to the scriptures, all right, uh, with uh, thermonuclear fire. We see now in the news how you got uh, this President Trump, he's He's threatening everybody. Fifty over fifty-nine uh, missiles last week was shot in Syria, <laughs> right? All right. And then what happened? They shot uh, another missile called Moab. All right. Now Moab, all right, means what? The mother of all bombs. They dropped that where in Afghanistan. All right. It's coming to show you right now that the Most High is not playing. All right. All right. And then the fact that that this place has to pay. Okay for all its um, uh, atrocities that's, that it's done upon the people of the Most High, the people of the Lord, that fits the prophecies in the Bible, all right? I'm gonna get a scripture real quick.
for the brothers, you know what I'm saying, for edification and everything. As we come out, all right, wherever we at, you know, in the marketplace, in the agorium, all right, where people gather, where people are at, okay, and people rather, you know, continue with their life and everything and, and uh, you know, their jobs, they're eating, like, like this country is going to keep on standing, like the, uh, like the, uh, the, um, the debt clock, if you clock in, if you log on to something on the internet called the debt uh, clock, all right, it'll have an actual countdown of uh, the national debt in this country. All right, it's over twenty trillion dollars in counting. All right. Now, uh, economists. All right. Even the most uh, optimistic economists has even said that it's almost a, a fiscal impossibility to be able to to uh, our our even our great grandchildren to be able to pay back. All right, that uh, that amount of money. And actually, that's not even compounded with interest. That's literally just. <laughs> Um, as it stands right now, you know, if you add an interest to that, which interest does factor, don't you pay interest on um, whatever you buy? If you go, if you put something, if you got a credit card, you know, you get interest, you get a loan or get a car, or you buy a home, there's interest, all right? So debt in this country has something called interest, which, um, you know, isn't, uh, isn't scriptural either, all right? Well, this place has to pay for it, and the time is ticking, all right? So... Here's a scripture. All right, this is Nahum, chapter three, verse one. Woe to the bloody city! It is all full of lies and robbery. the The prey departeth not. All right. So that's just one of the scriptures talking about woe to the bloody city. All right. So the prey departed not. The people that pray, all right, on on the uh, the people on the chart, the so-called uh, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that literally took this country and forced these people into hard labor, all right. Uh, these people they depart not, all right. They 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 have slogans talking about make this country uh, great again, but have no. The only the, and the only way that they have to um, to uh, make it great is to alleviate to put more hurt, more hurt on people. All right, to uh, from cutting cutting welfare, which you know that's the thing that first of all welfare is something. If you look if you look it up, there's more so-called white people on welfare than there is uh, any other minority, Hispanic or or Native American. Right, and then also another word for welfare is called a subsidy. Okay, subsidy is something that these big banks use. All right, they, and that's how they're able to get uh, to not pay taxes, um, an exorbitant amount of taxes on their money. So if a normal uh, working person pays, you know, anywhere from 23 to 30 percent on their money, you get subsidies or welfare um, to these major corporations that end up paying something like, uh, you know, 15, 13, 8 percent. Have type tricks that they that they do um, to be able to create offshore accounts uh, to be able to um, you know to trick and bypass the law. But nobody complains about that. If we had that money and tax them accordingly, you know, right? A lot of uh, situations in this country would be fixed, or a lot there would be there'd be answers. There'd be at least there'd be money going towards a lot of these uh, these problems that we have. Yet what they're doing is looking and trying to play scapegoat to the Native American, Hispanic, and Negro in this country saying, well, you guys are all on welfare. Why don't you get a job? Why don't you do this? You know? And yeah, our people do need to wake up and do need to, you know, uh, get up the, get up off their shoulders, you know, get their ass off their shoulders and, and go do something. But, you know, really all of that's done. This country is over with, all right? There's no way that we'll be able to fix that debt, okay, um, that this country's created. You know, 17, 18% unemployment, and that's just off the top of my head. That's just, you know, even a lowball, okay? In the minority, so called minority community, it's even worse. It's because we had curses and we went into slavery and we had this land taken from us, all right, because we were disobedient to the Most High. And He put us in this land in captivity. Okay, you know, uh, uh, with against our enemy, 
which is the so-called white man, all right? They're the ones that have caused pain, caused hurt, raped, robbed, and murdered in this country, all right? If you ask them a question, they say, hey, look, that was a long time ago. Get over it, all right? But once you get over, you know, if you say get all over 9-11, get over you know, or get over, are you over 9-11? They say, hell no, we're not over that, all right? But say it's a long time ago, all right? Let's get another scripture. All right, because the Most High, all right, and his name is, his name's not God, all right? His name is Yahweh, all right? And his son's name is Yahawashai, all right? And he died only for the people of Israel, okay? He only came and he died for a certain group of people on this planet, all right? Which is the Lord, the Lord's elect, or eclectos, a certain group of people who the Lord put above, um, all people. All right, I'm gonna get that right now for y'all. Deuteronomy seven and six. I'm gonna have that pulled up. You know, because we're a holy people, according to the scriptures, is what it says, and we're the only ones that fit this. Uh, fit the, the curses that the scriptures talk about. The real Hebrew Israelites, the, the, the real people of the Bible that the Lord's favorite. Alright? Deuteronomy 7 and 6 it says, For thou art a holy people unto the Most High thy power. The Most High hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are that are upon the face of the earth all right who are the who are the best people on this planet all right who's the best boxers on this planet the so-called mexicans you go somewhere you go to mexico guatemala honduras you go anywhere in south america some of the best puerto rico all right so-called hispanics some of the best boxers the negro who's the best basketball players all right Kawhi Leonard, lebron james all right Look at the Olympics that just passed, all right? He says that we're a special people unto himself. There's nobody else on the face of this earth that's as good and as special, all right, as we are, okay? Who dress the best? Who has the best style and the, 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 be, the best sense, all right? <laughs> you get, you get a, a, a so-called Negro on payday, all right, or so-called uh, Hispanic person on payday, you know, they write where they going, right out to the mall or, or, or going to the, um, the, 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 the store or somewhere to get a fresh, a fresh outfit, a fresh, you know, fresh gear, all right? Be suited and booted up, right? Because why? We're the freshest people on the earth. We're a special people. The scripture says we're also a peculiar people. We have abilities and, and we were actually the Lord's favorite, all right? That's why when we rebelled and we went against the, the Most High, and his principles and everything that the Most High, you know, he, he he was he was pissed. We're his children, so he went ahead and reprimanded us by putting us in this land uh, captivity. All right. Verse eight, because the lo because the Most High loved you, because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers. Hath the Most High brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. All right? So here it is. The Most High took us out of Egypt, and we went and we rebelled right away. We went in and we said, listen, that's not good enough. All right? Then we start complaining immediately. You know, when Moses came down back with the commandments, and we started, uh, you know, we started rebelling. Man, it was better. Uh, we had a better time in Egypt. We was eating better, we was doing better, you know, we wanted to turn our, our hearts back there and the Most High was, was, was mad, was pissed, all right? So what ended up happening is that, you know, as time went on, the Most High knew our hearts and he said, you know what, this is a prophecy that's going to set up and put curses upon you people, right? Because I love you, but, you know, you choose not to obey my law, statutes, and commandments. And that's how we, why we have.